Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays, where it's time for, to play today's round of GeoGuessr. Challenge mode and the 5 minute time limit as usual. And here's the seed, which you can find in the video description if you want to play along. And there we go. And I'm ready to start. Now, where are we going to get today? Apparently, this seems like uh, Asian, Southeast Asia languages over there. They have a bit of a different alphabet than ours. Which country could this be? Now, we could try and check on the map and see if we see any sort of let's use this as our base because these little rings on the letters I think we saw that in was it Thailand yeah these sort of look like the lettering they have in Thailand now I wouldn't be able to find that of course see these ones are a little bit different more circular could have uh, perhaps Cambodia. I'm not really sure. These ones have some one, some uh, who are longer, like these ones, actually. Perhaps this is Cambodia then. I am not entirely sure, certain. We've had Thailand before, though. I don't think I've ever had Cambodia. So let's go with that, the, the fact that we know that the Google Maps actually have coverage over Thailand. We don't know if they have coverage in Cambodia, at least I don't. A flag would be helpful as well. I'm not 100% sure I can recognize the Cambodian flag, but I, if I saw it I probably would. I couldn't describe it to you right now. Is it a red half moon? A red moon on a green background. Bangladesh is red, a red circle on a green background, I think. Cambodia. No. Now I can ho hope we see that flag. Okay, so we're driving on the left too. Interesting. I didn't know they drove on the left in Thailand, but I did see the Thai Thailand flag over there, so. We're definitely in Thailand then. So now we know we, they drive on the left in Thailand. At least on this road. See you again. So we're leaving some sort of town. There's that same sign, I think. Uh, not the same sign, but the same text on the sign. I can't read that. So if they said see you again, that means we left some place. Maybe this place, and the, the one we read was whatever we were heading towards. Well, I can't read them as I said. Maybe... Was there an under text? Which is perhaps in English? Yes, there is. Marina. Is that a city or is that uh, just, you know, where they keep boats? What's this say? Mangrove. Alright, well that's a sort of tree. But probably that's also a name of a place here, I hope. We have posters with a man with a blurred face. Don't know what he's telling us. Maybe he's selling buildings, realtor, 500 something to somewhere. Okay, I can't... Alright, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's have a look at this. 3156. Sukhumwit and Trat. Can we find those things? Now, I don't know if we're on mainland or if we're on that peninsula down there. And 3156, I'm probably not going to be able to find. 
they have this little mark on the roads here. We can't really see any names of villages. Do we need to zoom in further maybe? No. Doesn't look like they have any names on the villages on the map. Sukumwit. Well, let's try to find 3156 then. This is 32. 30, 3196. Put the marker. Oh. We were actually very far down south, close to. Ah, oh, that's Trat. So it's the region. 3156. There's the road in question. If you zoom in like this, you can find the. Uh, the villages, but as they don't have the in any name in English, I could not have used that as a clue or anything. All right, well, we got the country right. A shame that I put it so far up north. Why didn't I do? Why did I do that? Why didn't I just put it in the center like I usually do? All right, uh, let's go to the next round. No matter. He's driving on the right. Yeah, so he's just passing. Can't pass on a bend like this. No, he's driving the other way. So, okay, we're driving on the right. Yellow center line. Mixed forest. This could be southern US, maybe. See some mountains in the far distance. This could also be Mexico or Brazil. Um, Mail Tribune, I think that said. That sounds English. So perhaps we're in Arizona. Well, no, maybe not Arizona. Looks a little dry. But you have the mixed forests. Let's see. Yeah, that, that could be American sign for wildlife crossing the road. Driving exactly south, pretty much straight. I see some hills in the far, far off distance. There's a horse, a ranch, Kansas maybe? Camera is pretty good. Dodge Road. Okay. And here we have Dodge Road, Meadows Road. Highway 234, this way. Hills to the south. We have, uh, there's some hills to the north as well. A little bit more to our west. Nebraska, Kansas, somewhere around this area maybe. I wouldn't know. Let's go towards that highway perhaps. Perhaps we can get some more. Mary's Country Beauty Salon. Appointment only. Yeah, I guess they would be fully booked. Okay, well, road's going very straight. Even the trees are in straight lines. What's this? Some sort of school, maybe? No American flag. Community of Christ. Alright, so this is where Christ lives. Oregon. Available. Oregon real estate. So I'm going to take that as a clue that we're in Oregon. But of course it might be a Nebraska company called Oregon real estate. So if this is Oregon, maybe we can find Salem. I remember that being in Oregon. Uh, two, three, four. Yes, right. Shady Cove and Gold Hill. Sounds nice. Shady Cove and Gold Hill, two, three, four. Let's zoom in a little bit and try to find Highway 234. Is it a circle? 
pretty much two forty, two thirteen, two twenty four. Hmm. Maybe a little closer to Seattle. Two, two oh nine. 283, looking for 234, not 240, not 221. We're still in Oregon? No, we're definitely not still in Oregon. Seattle is not in Oregon. 205. Mm, can't sell. It's Princeton. Again. Okay, well, finding two, three, four is uh, a small chance, I would say, but then I found it. There's Gold Hill as well. So Gold Hill is to the... Oh, well, that was close. We were a bit north of where I put it. Of course, we drew, drove a bit before we got here. So yes, there's Dodge Road. Meadows Road was the one we headed down. And then we crossed Dodge Road. And then we went all the way down to the 234 down here. So yeah, that was a pretty good guess then. Thanks to that Oregon real estate agent. Gold Hill and... Where's the Shady Cove? It's up there. Eagle Point. Butt Falls. Alright. Oregon. So here we have birch trees. And the gravel road. Mixed forest. Cars in the distance. Yeah, this could be Finland or Sweden. Can't tell. There's a lot of gravel roads and small little ditches on the side, and definitely a lot of mixed forest. So we have a house. No flag. Wouldn't expect a flag. If we're in Finland and Sweden, I do expect this sign to tell me the difference now. Kumo 70. We're on the 524, and Kumo, of course, is more Finnish than Swedish. So 524 and Kumo. Well, this is a very small road, like one of these. But 524, since they are pretty much ordered in. The further south you go, the lower the number, I suppose. Didn't go that far south, I guess. 659, further south. Okay, that's a four digit one. 344. Okay, well, so if I don't find Kumo, which I probably won't find. Let's go the other way. Remember that we headed, we're coming from Kumo. We've dr dr driven seven miles, or metric miles, seventy kilometers, I guess. Savioki. Right, not that way. Let's follow these cars up here. They're headed somewhere. Did I put the marker down? Let's put the marker down in Finland. Right, heading down the gravel road. Count the trees. One, two. Okay, there's a. And here we have the glaring sun reflected off the melted, melted snow surface. It's a road hazard uh, in the springtime when the Sun reflects of melted snow, and you get blinded when you drive along the roads. Okay, we're not getting anywhere. This is uh, a lot of trees. Here we are. We're headed towards Lieksa, and we're almost in Nurmijärvi. 
And of course, I have already forgotten what the other place was called. Lieksa Nurmijärvi. We had north south, we're headed. So, 793. Lieksa Nurmijärvi. Now, the Järvis are pretty much up here. Oops, move the marker of it on itself. Ava Kerpe Lieksa Lieksa Would it be visible on this size? Probably I think that's sort of the end of this 524 row, this Lieksa So that's probably connected to some bigger road There's a Järvi, it's Timis Järvi Kemi Jarvi is way up north. Let's go a little bit further south. Pitka, was that the one? No. Lieksa. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can find it. Let's move the marker a little further south. Okay, I scanned everywhere. <laughs> I think I was about to scan in this area. But Kumo Lieksa, yeah, there we are. If I had scanned on this size, I would have found both Kumo and Lieksa. I was zoomed in further though. So yes, uh, the, the road was over here, near the Russian border. Kind of close at least. And there's Yongu Yoki, that's not the one we saw though. We were headed south, so we're probably something Järvi down here. Purun Järvi, that wasn't it. Savijärvi, that might have been it. And the road was all the way up to Kumo. Alright. Uh, 4,943 points. Let's have a look at this one. Second to last. Lots of cars. Can't really say if they look American. Even though they could be. Let's head out onto the road here. Alright, well the road looks kind of American, and there's a pickup truck. Right land ends. Is this a church over here? Perhaps? Let's see if we've learned anything. No, it's a healthcare center. Linden Healthcare Center. So maybe if we can find a city called Linden, we might be... Alright, can we get on this side? Okay, Texas. Does it say Texas? Texas Wildflower Trail. Alright, so could we be in Texas? Could be in Texas. Let's see if we can find Linden, Texas. Put the marker down. Tulsa, Dallas. Hmm. Well, Linden might not have been a city, it might just have been the healthcare center. Let's have a quick look though. Lindale, that was close. The Woodlands. Etna, Victoria. Kennedy. Alice. Holland. This is Mexico then, I suppose. Okay, I can't find it that quickly, so let's have a look at the sky, and then have a look at this intersection. Texas, 11. So this is this, the 11 going east-west, and this is the 8 going north-south. So with that in mind, let's see if we can find the number 8 and 11. It shouldn't be that hard. 
Now where would you start your numbering? There's Houston. 99. There's a 6. There's the 8. Is it that, that size though? It doesn't look that big. Well, there is a dual lane. Must be a highway. So if the no, 8 goes north-south, where's the 6 then? No, it's not this big. It's uh, it's one of, of these sizes I would want. Seven. Come on, if we find the seven, we shouldn't be able to find the eight and the six. Let's move across. There's the six. Right, that looks better. Now let's follow the six until we find the eight, uh, eleven. Wait, why were we looking for the six? I want eight and eleven. Damn it. Six and seven. No eight, no eleven. Really? Okay, am I still in Texas? Yes. Look near Dallas. No. There's the seven again. Does that mean I left? Yes, that means I'm in Oklahoma. So have a look over here. Amarillo is in Texas, right? Yes. This is sort of a little bit of a offshoot of Texas up here north. There's the six again and five. I want eight and eleven. There's the six. This can't be oh it's still Texas. Okay let's follow the six down now. Six and seven in this area. So if we have six and seven then the eight should be nearby, shouldn't it? Here, Houston. The 6 goes all the way down to Houston. Well, I can't find the 7. Uh, I mean, the 7 I can find. It's right there. Found it several times. But the 8 and the 11. Well, what haven't I looked at? All the way down south? No, let's look along the Mexican border then. Three hundred seventy-seven, one sixty-three. Numbers are pretty high down here. Okay, I didn't find it. It was on the edge to Arkansas and Louisiana over here. There's the eleven, and I suppose this is the eight. Yeah, if it zoomed in a little bit, we would have seen it. It was also called the fifty-nine, and there's Linden. Didn't find Linden, even though it was close. I saw Pittsburgh, but I didn't see Linden. All right, I saw Atlanta, but I didn't see Linden. So right there. Well, couldn't find the right numbers. At least we tried. Ki joya, a amiga dos se olos. Is that Spanish? Could be Spanish. Palm trees, although they do not look, they might have been planted here, but still, they, they can live in this, in, at this, uh, what do you call it, environment? Must be warm enough for palm trees to grow, that's what I'm getting at. We have a church, Preciosa Presentes. Funeral. Funeraria. Okay. I guess they have plants and stuff there. So, well, what else can we see? Very goods. Merchandise. A pink square. Not sure I see any flags or anything like that. I'm thinking Mexico, but it could be basically anywhere. P 
Presta Chao. That's the Portuguese sea. Janeiro. It's not Rio de Janeiro, I don't think. But Janeiro must mean it means January, right? Oh, so this is just the January to June 2011. Okay, well, this is the prefect of Arneroa. Arneroa. Si mando un futuro melhor. Interesting. Okay, so I think that means we're in the region of Arneroa. And there's like, their symbol has like a cactuses on them. So perhaps, is there a region called Arneroa in Mexico? Kohala, Nuevo León. San Luis, Durango, Sinaloa, Baja California. Maybe not. I'm trying to understand Spanish even though I don't. But I think that means uh, January to June. At least. Okay, well. I can't even make sure we're in Mexico. It could be anywhere. Okay, let's move on a little bit, even though I thought there was a lot of clues over there. I get stuck looking at everything and maybe I could just move and find something that I can easily get a clue from. Alright, well, what's this then? Again with the Pufitera de Arneroi. Arneroz. Arneroiz. I don't know. Uh, some people over here, at least, seem to be wearing orange. Maybe that's some sort of school uniform. Petrol. Escolar, says the bus. Is that a city or is that just it's a biblioteca? Again, the pref prefect of Arneroa. All right, here we go. We're leaving. Those are the Brazilian uh, road signs, aren't they? Yes, we're probably in, in Brazil then. Because I did see that C, Portuguese C. So, is there an Arnerua in Brazil? I can't find one. Let's have a look around. See some hills. Mountains. Do we have a road designation? We've learned something about Brazil that we can look at the roads and see where we're headed. This sign might have been helpful, but of course it's behind this car. And the time's up as well. Tawa. Alright, we were in Brazil, so we got that right. Sierra. Tawa was over there. I don't think I would have found that. Arne, Arneiros, Arneiros, there it is, had to zoom in pretty far, would probably not have found it, but if we had found a CE uh, road, we would know it that we were in the Sierra region, but we didn't, so we got 1850 points, and that goes for the total of 17,772. Pretty good. Got pretty close on everything. Brazilian was not as close, even though it looks closer on the map than perhaps this one does. But still, okay score. If you did better, then congratulations. If you didn't, then better luck next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you back for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.